think that uh, ecology and evolution is the centre of um, should be the centre of Earth Institute because everything evolves around life and if you don't include uh, these life sciences, ecology and evolution, it would not be a very good Earth Institute. It wouldn't be inclusive enough. I think ecology can explain what we're seeing today and it can model and try to predict the future. And evolution looks back at what has happened in the past to explain why we have the multitude of organisms, where and how they evolved and how we find them today. Uh, within our theme, ecology and evolution, it brings together a wide range of uh, disciplines ranging from ecology, which is looking at uh, uh, current day patterns and trying to model and predict the future. And it looks at individual organisms all the way through ecosystems. So it's individuals, just different species, the populations, and its environment. And on the other side, you have evolution, focuses on, on what's happened in the past, how things evolved, how they adapted, how they became to what they are now, how the path they travel to, to end up where they are now. And in between, I think we have population genetics, which is more using evolutionary tools in terms of genetics, but it's looking at a contemporary uh, timescale and trying to bridge the gap or work like a bridge between ecology and uh, evolution. And it's sort of the theme of molecular ecology. In the Irish context, I think it's fairly simple. Ireland is an island, and now with uh, uh, climate change happening, things can run out of, of uh, uh, space to run into. If you look at, for instance, other areas of Europe, like Scandinavia, you can have animals moving the range further north if temperature increases. So they can maintain, uh, they can stay in the habitat that they prefer. But if you look at Ireland, for instance, you have Arctic char in Ireland. And in Ireland, if you have an increase in temperature, there's no, left, no place left for Arctic char to go. They don't go to see the Irish Arctic char anymore. So you will get a species extinction. So obviously, the aquatic environments, I think, should be preserved in Ireland, as well as the coastal areas, because Ireland is an island, so the marine environment is obviously something that's very important and very significant for Ireland. That ranges quite a lot uh, from uh, benthic fauna all the way up to uh, fossils and looking at evolution. So there's a wide range of topics that are being covered. The biggest hurdles for ecology and evolution, according to myself, would be the amount of data that we're generating now. So much, not so much a hurdle as a challenge. Like in my own field of uh, molecular ecology or population genetics, 10, 15 years ago we could use 10 to 15 genetic markers and we can get away with that. Today we're generating billions of base pairs of sequence. We have orders of many orders of magnitude more data to analyze. And for me that becomes a problem because now we have to rely on high-speed computers, network computers and computer clusters. And we can't do this in, uh, alone anymore. We work together with bioinf uh, bioinformaticists, statisticians and, and computer science. So it's a, it's a hurdle to handle the data. With the increase of data we're getting from uh, next generation sequencing facilities, the amount of data means that education is very important. Ten years ago, uh, you could get away with using 10 to 15 markers. Now we're using much, much more. So to be able to grasp the whole field, you need education in, in mathematics, statistics, and bioinformatics and computer science. So you must have a much more holistic approach to your uh, education. And that's on top of having your biology background. My membership in Earth Institute has allowed me now to work much more closely with other disciplines that are necessary, for instance, statistici statisticians, <laughs> mathematics, and uh, 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 bioinformatics and computer people. So definitely, it uh, enables me to do my research much more, effect more, much more effectively. Well, the biggest risk factor for Earth is, uh, without any hesitation, it's uh, climate change. And uh, and the knock-on effects of climate change. It's very hard to predict what's going to happen, but something will definitely happen.